Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So a couple of you who follow me on Instagram have been asking me to post how I draw on Procreate. Now Procreate and digital art are very, very new to me, so I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a couple of tips that I have come to figure out when it comes to Procreate. One is never be too afraid of layers. Use those layers, just go crazy. Now, um, I learned this trick where I go and I actually draw out. Do you know I still use the blue pencil effect where I use the pencil, the brush that they have for me already, the 6B pencil, and then I sketch everything out in blue just because I'm used to the blue color and sketching out in blue. And then I actually take that layer and I turn the opacity down. That way I can go on top of it and line it if I want to. Now some people don't really like lining digital arts. I've seen some people line their digital art and sometimes they line in certain places or they don't line at all. It's just, it's a total preference if you want to line or you don't want to line your digital art drawing. Another thing you're going to see as soon as I'm done lining her, you'll see that I'll eventually get rid of most of these lines. Um, the thing that I like to do to the background, some of you guys probably didn't know this. If you did already, I'm sorry for repeating myself. It's just that I go ahead and I turn the background layer into a different color. That way it's not white and so that I color on top of it and I know that so the white's not kind of fooling me saying hey you didn't color here and then you realize that when you finally put a background behind your person or your subject that you're drawing on procreate then you realize oh my gosh i missed all these places so when i go in to do like overall first layers i like to use the hard airbrush it's just it's gonna overall color everything that i need now i don't know what it's called but the little thing that you keep around to like color inside the lines <laughs> i'm sorry i'm just an old-fashioned person person. I've always been pretty good about coloring inside the lines. So I really don't need that tool. I don't know what the tool is called. If you know what the tool is, leave it down below, a comment down below. But you, as you can see, it's up at top next top left next to gallery and it's next to the little magic wand. You see it right there. That is the tool that you would use to stay inside the lines in case you're wondering. It's easy for me to stay inside the lines. I'm kind of okay with staying inside the lines. Now, this is where it gets weird because it kind of chopped me off just because it's my first time recording anything through my iPad and just recording my whole screen thing. So I chopped it off at this part. Okay, so when I'm laying down colors and coloring overall, objects or subjects that I'm using on Procreate or my characters, I use the medium airbrush and it's like the soft edges. So it kind of blends in together, but I've turned opacity all the way up and it kind of starts to blend in with each other. Now, if you get Procreate just by itself from the app store for, this is only for iPads. I don't think I mentioned that, but Procreate is only for iPads. There are other programs for Galaxy tablets or phones, but what I do is I, there is no blender. There is no blender. So this is what I wanted to kind of show you with using this heart as an example, this galaxy heart. I always use hearts as an example for to do galaxies if you haven't noticed that. <laughs> Anyways, I take my medium airbrush and then I take my soft airbrush. I turn the opacity down and then I just take that color picker and I go and I pick all the colors and I try to smooth each color into each other. It's very similar to paint. If you're working with really wet acrylic paint, this is very very similar to it. And I mean, it's not tedious, but it's a good way to go around and to blend stuff. And that's how I blend hair or overall like skin tones. If I add layers or if I want to color something in, I use the soft airbrush to blend everything in. I just jump from color to color to color to color. And I just keep going back and forth with the color picker and just picking it up and matching it and just getting that soft airbrush and just blending it in together. That is how I blend stuff together. And if you're wondering if, how to blend on Procreate, this is the best way to do it because there is no blender tool. I have not bought separate uh, tool packages or like brush packages to kind of help me with Procreate. I didn't buy anything extra. I'm just using what Procreate came with when I first bought it from the app store. 
right, now we're back onto the mermaid where I finally realized, oh my gosh, it's not recording, idiot. <laughs> Anyways, so I went in and as you can see, I made a whole new layer and I started adding shading to her skin. I don't know why I picked her to be a blue skin. I don't know. I just kind of wanted her to be a celestial figure. A lot of people will be like, oh my gosh, she looks like Nebula from Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm sorry. She doesn't have wires hanging out of her face. <laughs> Anyways, so I went in and I start creating new layers to add more shading and more highlights around. And I use that a lot when it comes to like, as you can see her face, I'm highlighting it a little bit more. And this is when you're going to start to see me start taking away some of the original lines that I first started with and once I'm comfortable with it you see I just deleted deleted the very first layer where I sketched everything out because now I no longer need it and I would suggest that you get rid of that first layer of those sketching because you're just gonna have some sketch marks hanging out around even though the opacity is turned down I would say go ahead and get rid of it all right now you can see I'm starting to add more highlights and more details and I get to that point where with the hair, I did the same technique as I showed you with my galaxy heart before this. I blended it all in together using a medium so soft brush first, soft airbrush. I started off with that and then I used the soft airbrush second to go and blend those colors in together so they kind of merge a little bit more. And it was a bunch of color picking back and forth, back and forth, picking up the color and matching it with the other colors, going just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that's when I at the very end I create another layer this is like this is all in the same layer that when I start highlighting stuff and I try to go over the original lining is when as you can see I do those few strands of hair that just kind of pop out now I didn't want her hair to be all swirly like she was in the water but I wanted it to be swirly where there was no gravity for her hair to have to fall now this is where it gets interesting you probably have seen people do this before when they shade with colors instead of using darker colors. Now I like to shade with purple and blue. What you do is you create a whole nother layer and just like at the beginning, you turn the opacity down. So that actual color can kind of highlight at the same time as shade and as you can see, I keep on playing with it, sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't, and I go back and I race where I just want it to be the skin. Now you could go on and on and create as many layers as you'd like and turn the opacity down. Like for example, for her skin, I'd pick this purple color to highlight and shade it. Not highlight, shade. <laughs> Now I did pick up this interesting trick from a Pinterest sheet. I don't know what it is, but I have like a whole folder on my Pinterest board where I go ahead and I put like how to shade digital art and it's just, it helps me a lot more. And it's just interesting all the techniques that you can pick up just from looking at pictures or looking at other fellow Instagram artists or their videos or time lapses and what they have going on, what they can offer. I like to look at other Instagram artists that kind of inspire me and if I can learn anything from them just by looking at their art then that's what I like to do. I like to sit on Instagram and I like to see oh what did they use here and what did they use here and now you can see I'm starting to use the dark blue to go in and shade and you see I turn the opacity down and you can see that it highlights very very well so that's what I'm going to go with with that, with that dark blue and I actually go on top of the hair underneath her hair and in different sections just to give that shading section a little bit more but at the same time it's not really disturbing the sections that I've already shaded on my own before I add this overall layer on top of everything now I did push this layer all the way to the top of my list of layers that way I, it, it overall is the overall layer and it just gives that overall shading and then when it gets to my stars that's when I actually just put the stars at the very 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 top that way they're the brightest on her overall character. I am a huge fan of the paintbrush that Procreate comes with that you can well okay now you could have seen that I use the nebula yes there is a preset nebula brush in Procreate's brushes. Now here's the thing about nebula it's very cloudy but you know you could have looked at this and gone well can't i just use the nebula procreate brush instead of doing everything that you just did okay look at the difference between the nebula 
in my galaxy on her tail and how it kind of merges a little bit better on the tail. I don't know, it's just a preference if you want to try to shade with the nebula. Good luck, it's a preset cloud, so the cloud's going to go outside your lines. I've already tried, trust me. But I wanted to use the nebula just a little bit in the background, so that's why I did that, and that's why I used the preset glimmer. And I did do individual, like, okay, for, so you see the both things that I did, I used the glimmer tool that Procreate came with, and I also used individual little white hard brush uh, airbrush specks to put on her skin, so you can see the difference. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm still learning Procreate and I hope to keep going on with this in the future. This whole month I challenged myself to draw for my Instagram mermaid post. If you haven't seen any of the other mermaid posts on my Instagram, make sure you go and check that out on Dramatic Parrot and you can see all the other mermaids that I've made with Procreate. I'm just teaching myself and hopefully these tips and tricks can help you if you decide to go ahead and purchase Procreate from the app store and you wanna give digital art a try. I'm still learning, you're still learning, People are masters at this. You're not there yet, but that's okay. That's why we practice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you have a most wonderful day. 